Hey, it's Josh here. I want to talk real briefly about ABG interpretation. Remember that you are looking for a first name, a middle name, and a last name for your ABGs. Your first name is going to be something like either compensated or uncompensated. Now your middle name, respiratory or metabolic, and then your last name, acidosis or alkalosis. Now remember step one, you need to take a very quick look at the PO2, and this often gets forgotten because we get so busy trying to think of how to name our ABGs, we don't actually look to see whether the patient is having problems oxygenating. And so PO2, remember if your patient's PO2 is less than 60 millimeters of mercury, your patient is in acute respiratory failure most likely. Step two, look at the pH to get both a first name and a last name for your ABGs. Your first name, remember, will be either compensated or uncompensated, and then your last name, acidosis or alkalosis. So if you take a look here at this little triangle, you have on the left hand side 7.35 anything less than that is uncompensated acidosis anything greater than 7.45 on your pH is uncompensated alkalosis right smack dab in the middle there 7.40 anything to the left of that or anything less than 7.40 is acidosis anything greater than 7.40 is alkalosis. Now if we're less than 7.40 but still above 7.35 we have a compensated acidosis. We're compensated because we're not outside of the normal range yet. The normal range for pH is 7.35 to 7.45. As long as we're within that range we are compensated. The same is true for alkalosis. If we're slightly above 7.40 but not quite past 7.45, we are compensated alkalosis. Right there, we've got our first name and our last name just by looking at the pH. Now step three is to look at the CO2 and the bicarb. And this will give us our middle name. Remember, CO2 is the respiratory component. Bicarb, or HCO3, is the metabolic component. CO2 is an acid. Bicarb is not. Bicarb is a base. So here we have the normal values. Your pH, 7.35 to 7.45. Anything less than 7.35 is uncompensated acidosis. Anything greater than 7.45 is uncompensated alkalosis. Now remember our CO2 normal range is 35 to 45. Anything less than 35 and we have respiratory alkalosis. Think of all that CO2 getting blown off. And we see that, for example, in a patient who is hyperventilating. They're blowing off their CO2 and it becomes less than 35 and they have respiratory alkalosis. Anything greater than a CO2 of 45 is a respiratory acidosis. As we hold on to that CO2, we become more acidotic. So then our last number, our bicarb is the metabolic component. The normal range is 23 to 27. Anything less than 23, and we have a metabolic acidosis. Anything greater than 27, and we have a metabolic alkalosis. So there you go, ABGs, quick and simple. I hope that this helped. And remember, save lives, but most importantly, have some fun.